Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this lovely abaya dress with the inbuilt scarf. So, if this is your first time coming across this channel, my name is Nancy and you're welcome. So, for this tutorial, I'll be making use of this fabric. The name of this fabric is called a crepe fabric, and I made use of three yards. This coffee brown fabric is also called a crepe fabric, and I made use of half yards. So, I decided to use it in designing my scarf. But if you want to make this dress without mixing the colors, then you should be looking at getting three and a half yards of the single fabric you want to make use of. The first step is to fold this fabric into four. So you might have come across some of the abayas I made in my previous tutorials, but this particular abaya is kind of unique because of the cotton. So now the next step is to roll the starting line. This line would serve as the shoulder line for this dress. From this side of the fold, I placed my tape on the shoulder line to mark a neck width of 3 inches. For a plus size person, you should mark 4 inches. And I went ahead to mark 1 inch for the neck depth and connected both points together. So this would be the neckline for just the back piece. Why the neck depth for the front piece is 7 inches. For a plus size person, you should use 8 inches. Now take note that the neckline for the front piece is a curved V neckline. For this reason, I'll be using a curve ruler to connect the two points together. The next step is to mark the full length of this dress. I placed my tape from the shoulder line vertically downwards. The full length of my dress is 57 inches. So I added extra 2 inch allowance to the end which made it 59 inches altogether. So one important measurement that would be needing to get the body of this dress is the hip circumference. Now on my shoulder line, I won't be placing my shoulder measurements. I would only place my hip circumference divided by 4. And then I went ahead to add extra 4 inches allowance to the side. Also, on the M line, I'll be placing my hip circumference divided by 4 plus 4 inch allowance to the side to connect this point vertically upward to the point I marked on the shoulder line. The next step is to mark the sleeve opening. Now, from the tip of this line, I placed my tape vertically to mark 8 inches. For a plus size person, you should mark about 10 inches or 11 inches. On this point I marked, I extended that point outward by 1 inch and extended the tip of the shoulder line outward by 1 inch as well to connect both points together as shown. The next step is to make this little curve on the underarm. Now, I'll go ahead to trim out the neckline for just the back piece first. After that, I would add half inch sewing allowance to the top of the shoulder line to which both the front piece and the back piece would be attached. Now, I went ahead to trim out the excess fabric at the top. So, I'm also going to trim out the sides of the fabric following the direction of the chalk. Next step is to separate the back piece from the front piece so you can easily trim out the neckline for just the front piece. Alright, now I'll place the front piece on the back piece, right side of the fabric facing each other to stitch the shoulder by half inch following the direction of the chalk. After stitching the shoulders together, I went ahead to spread out the dress 
and the next step is on how to get the sleeve length to do this i would notch the center back neckline now i placed my tip from this point i chopped and i'll be marking half of my shoulder measurements on the shoulder line which is seven inches so every other measurement that comes after this point i chopped would be the sleeve length so obviously you can see that i have an extra sleeve length of seven inches here but my actual sleeve measurement is 24 inches so what you should do is to subtract this seven inches from your actual sleeve length so 24 inches minus 7 inches is 17 inches now this is the fabric i'm using for one side of the sleeve now before going further make sure that the width of the sleeve on the dress is equal to the width of this fabric as well now for the length of the fabric since after subtracting 7 inches from my actual full length i had 17 inches the length of this fabric is going to be 17 inches plus extra 3 inches allowance to the end which will make it 20 inches so i had a 3 inches allowance because i would also be including an elastic band in the end of the sleeve since this fabric is just for one sleeve make sure you duplicate it to make the other sleeve now you can see that i've placed it directly on my sleeve opening to stitch by half inch and i'll also be placing the second piece i duplicated on the other sleeve opening to stitch by half inch as well after stitching the sleeves together make sure to fold the aim of the sleeve in such a way that a one inch elastic band can be passed through the aim opening now you should also repeat the same folding process on the aim of the second sleeve To know the width of the elastic that should be inserted into the elastic casing, I took the measurement of my wrist and here I made sure it wasn't too tight. So this is 8 inches. So the length of the elastic should be 8 inches. Now I went ahead to insert the elastic into the elastic casing. After I have properly inserted the elastic into the elastic casing, I went ahead to pin the edges so the elastic doesn't get loose. The next step is to also insert an elastic length of 8 inches into the second elastic casing here. After properly inserting the elastic, I also pinned the edges. Now I'm going to fold the fabric into two equally. To take the dress to the sewing machine to stitch the sides of the dress by one inch following the direction of the chalk. And before getting to the aim, I would mark a side slit of 14 inches in length. So I'll stop stitching on this point I chopped, and this would be the side slit on this side. Alright, so on this other side, I'll also stitch the sides of the dress by 1 inch. And on getting to the aim, I would mark 14 inches in length for the side slit as well. So the stitching on this side will stop directly on this point. Alright, so the sides have been properly secured and I flip the fabric to the right side. The next step is to secure the slit opening at the bottom of this dress. So here I'll fold it by half inch and further fold it in by half inch to secure the side slits. And I'll do the same for the other side slits as well. After securing the side slits, the next step is to secure the aim of this dress separately. The next step is on how to make the scarf that would be attached to the neck opening. So this is the fabric I'll be using for the scarf. The length of most foreign fabrics is usually 59 to 60 inches, but for this fabric it's 60 inches. Now I measured a width of 26 inches, but using this fabric alone won't be enough to wrap your scarf properly. So the best thing is to attach more fabric to it.
so yeah i decided to use another color and the width of this brown fabric is 15 inches so i attached it to the side of this fabric and also attached a duplicate of that same brown fabric to the other side as well by half inch now the next step is to fold the scarf into two equally so you can easily trim out the neckline all right this is the center fold and this is where the neckline will be placed now for the dress i folded the tip of the v-shape and the center back neckline together i went ahead to place the shoulder line directly on the folded fabric here and also made sure that the center of the v-neck line is one inch above the main fabric because this one inch extra would help me to create an overlapping at the center of the v-neck now i went ahead to trace the v-neck from the shoulder line to the center of the v-neck line so this is the extra one inch distance from that point for the overlapping now the next step is to mark the midpoint of the neckline at the center back now i will start by trimming out the front neckline from this one inch extension and to trim out the neckline for the back piece i would slit this fold to stop at the midpoint i chopped so this is the neckline for both the front piece and the back piece so take note that this is the wrong side of the scarf i'll go ahead to secure the edges from this end by folding it half inch and further folding it by half inch all through following the direction of my fingers And on getting to the opposite end, I would stop stitching from here. After stitching the edges of the scarf, the next step is to pin the neckline of the scarf to the neckline of this dress. To do this, I'll pin the center back of the scarf to the center neckline of the dress. And continue pinning the edges together. Now I'll place these edges directly on the other edge here and you can see the overlapping which is done in the center neckline. The next step is to stitch the edges of the neck opening to the scarf by half inch. After stitching, I folded the seam allowance inward to top stitch on the right side of the neckline following the direction of my finger. Alright guys, this is the final outcome of this Abaya dress with the inbuilt scarf. It's very beautiful. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And also put on your notification bell so you'll be the first to get notifications when I upload new tutorials. Thank you.